Ricky Nelson, Merrick Nelson, and Dante Houston Jr. Extra pass in the corner. Merrick Nelson misses a three, and it's tipped up and in. Nice play, crashing the board. Mike Adewumi, uh, Brad Underwood was in on him and shoot around, saying this is a live athlete, plays with a ton of en energy, strong. You got to block him out. And Alfonso Plummer off to a good start. This is Ricky Nelson, hands it off to Justin Johnson. He's the leading scorer for the Vaqueros, 17 and a half a game, and it gets on the board here to make it 5-4. Monte Williams swings it for Plummer, looking for his second three, and he's got it. Alfonso Plummer is now nine for his last 11, shooting the three ball. Fast pace to this one, as I've said, haven't had a whistle yet, almost four minutes in. Justin Johnson for three. He shoots, well, now 50% on the season from distance. Ricky Nelson, Justin Johnson, that's, that's the, those are the motors of their team, and they got to dominate, and then can they limit the other players outside of Kofi if they can do those things, they can find themselves in this ballgame. Small sample size, but that's really big for him if he can knock down free throws. Illinois back on top, 10 to 9. Justin Johnson fighting in the lane, and Payne got a hand on it. Following up, Merrick Nelson, though. Offensive rebound, Melendez had it and lost it. Here comes Ricky Nelson. Gives it up for Merrick Nelson, the two-hand slam. And the Vaqueros have a three-point advantage. Johnson. Knock it out to the corner. This is Xavier Johnson now. Rolls around and in. And Xavier Johnson will have a chance for a three-point play. By the way, the Vaqueros are playing. Yeah, here's, you see Xavier Johnson drawing the contact. Luke Goody, you got to get outside of that uh, that zone on the interior. To, to... Hutcherson trying to fit it to Coburn. Got caught up in the air. Ricky Nelson the other way. Takes the contact and floats it home. And the Vaqueros are up by 10. He was a great elite athlete and, and really effective getting to the rim. You saw him make, you know, make a three there, too. That's a, like I said, that's that's dangerous if he can hit the outside so, shot, too, because he's so good going to the going to the basket. And there, Kofi Coburn. And that's how you do it. Stop a run. Come together. Get your All-American the ball. Let him go to work. Justin Johnson runs into Coburn, able to take the contact and score off the window. Not a lot of players can do that. All the hands of Doc Nelson, Merrick Nelson out there as well with Justin Johnson, Dante Houston, and Xavier Johnson. That's kissed home by Ricky Doc Nelson. And they need to get some ball movement before entering the ball into the post. It's difficult just to go high-low without really any action prior. That's five Illinois turnovers thus far. No turnover that time. Coleman Hawkins with the flush. UTRGV lead. 10-15 to go in the first half. Hawkins, a lot of contact. <laughs> Let the guy go over the top of him and then score. That's pretty good patience for Coleman it Hawkins. Hawkins handling the ball a lot more here today. And Coburn lost it to the floor. Saved by Hawkins. Plummer, a long three. His third from downtown today. On well, the Illini, 5-5, 26-21. Not too many can say that. You can see he's a guy, if you're defending him, you've got to be on him, high hand, on the catch. Or that thing's going to go up, and odds are he's going to make it. Doc Nelson gets the nice bounce off the rim of a record that you're a co-holder of here in <laughs> Illinois. Eight three-pointers made in a game. Somehow that's still standing, and it, I, I wouldn't be shocked if, if Alfonso Plummer, sometime this season, maybe tonight, breaks it. I don't think Brad will keep him on the bench too long, but, uh, you know, he, he wanted to keep it going. Coburn, just way too easy of a finish if you're the UTRGV defense. And the rebound by Williams. Pass ahead to the big man running, and he got it knocked away by Merrick Nelson, trying the ire of the crowd. Justin Johnson now fouled. Last break, dunk. It was a bang bang play. And Kofi running the floor as 290 pounds, and that. Green set by Taylor for Johnson. And you watch UTRGV, they'll just they'll play five out, sometimes four out, one in, really spread the floor, try to drive to the rim. He's afraid of maybe the, the ball being dropped off in the paint behind him. Or if he can't get the block, then his man is going to likely finish off that offensive rebound. So he's got to understand if he can get there for the block or if he needs to block out his man. Applying some three-quarter court pressure, they're dropping back into a 2-3 zone. Illinois, again, you can't just pass the ball around the perimeter. That's where you want to go. 
And Coburn, a chance for a three-point play. Adewumi for three, short off a defensive rebound by Devontae Williams. Plummer, a fifth three-pointer here in the first half for Alfonso Plummer. Look at those hands active against Coburn. Melendez, it's saved by Bosman's Verdonk. Now Coburn steps through the double team and lays it in. He's going to try again, I think. Nope, kick out. Coburn and gets the two is Merrick Nelson. Ricky Nelson out front, guarded by Plummer. Coburn will let Taylor shoot. Offensive rebound, Adewumi, the reverse off the window and in. Mike Adewumi, Merrick Nelson, these guys attack the offensive glass. You know, you have a freshman, R.J. Melendez. You got to get a body on him. Coburn down low against Taylor and lays it up and in. Feeding him running the lane. 16 points in the first half for the All-American, Kofi Coburn. Merrick Nelson trying to quiet the crowd, and he does. Three-pointer for Merrick Nelson. Melendez banks it in, and the buzzer sounds, and R.J. Melendez gives Illinois a 39-37 lead. And Devontae Williams will have the steal. Against Justin Johnson, leaves it for Coburn! Uh, something that's obviously been very important for this uh, UTRGV program, and he really helped turn around uh, the basketball program at uh, UTRGV. Head coach is, is like a father figure yeah. for so many of these, these young men. And so to, to, to lose that father figure, that mentor, that leader, as you see Alfonso Plummer, nice drive, actually getting to the rim. A, a okay. two-pointer. Drawing too many fouls without fouling too much. It's typically not, a lot of bigs aren't great at doing that. Justin Johnson makes a three. As we're tied at 42, Justin Johnson now with 15 points to lead the way for the Vaqueros. Plummer for a 6-3 pointer. Six from beyond the three-point line. 45-42. Anawumi nowhere to go. The floater by Merrick Nelson banks it in. He is up to 12 points on the evening. Uh-oh. Plummer, he wanted that seventh right there. Six for 11 now. Justin Johnson, he's three for three. Knocks down the corner three. And if I'm Brad Underwood, I'm not mad at that shot from Alfonso Plummer with he, how he's got it going, but the, the rest of the team's got to understand you got to get back in transition. Those early threes can lead to leak outs like it just did, and there you see. And he's out of the ball game right now. Devontae Williams lobs it up. Coburn, I think, maybe thought that was a shot. I think it was a lob. Hutcherson misses the three, but Devontae Williams with the athletic putback. Quickly the other way, and a three by Xavier Johnson. This is Xavier Johnson now. Justin Johnson moves it back to Nelson in the corner. Counted, and the foul. Same play, Bossman's Verdunk called for the foul again. One shy of tying his career high. And the Vaqueros are up by four. They led by as many as 12 in the first half. The lob to Coburn and the easy two-hand flush. 17th career, 20-plus point game now for Coburn. He's right there at 20 tonight. Just his third game back in the lineup and lofting it just high enough. And Illinois had the 39-37 lead, but the Vaqueros outscoring the Illini 20-14 here in the second half. Nelson went for the steal, and how about another two-hand jam by Kofi Cobra? For Illinois, it's just been one threat, and Alfonso Plummer, you see if Luke Goody, if Coleman Hawkins, if someone else can spread the floor out a bit as well. And the reverse lay-in, and the rebound by Coleman Hawkins. The Illinois was fortunate. Luke Goody and DeMonte Williams got... Mixed up on a switch there. And there you see the high-low again. Good feed from DeMonte Williams. DeMonte Williams done a good job of that. Illinois back in front. 27 points now for Coburn. Doc Nelson flips it up and in. And the Vaqueros back in front. And Andre Curbelo sitting this one out as well for Illinois. Merrick Nelson from the corner. Out of womb, he got a hand on it. Now Doc Nelson to the hoop. Lays it up and in. And Ricky Doc Nelson has 15. Ricky Nelson sees that rim, and he commits to it. He doesn't take his eyes off it. Uh, another impressive finish there with the left hand.
Coburn doubles, gonna go to work anyway, scores it and the foul. 14 of 18 at the line, Illinois is 8 of 11. Two point, but Carroll lead, nine and a half to play. Goody, an open three, yes. And he's open, you gotta get it to him. Guarded oh. by Houston, trying to kick it out and getting a hand on it was out of Wumi. Nelson to Johnson, two hand flush. And Rio Grande Valley back in front by a point. He's only taken one shot today, no points. A couple of rebounds, 19 minutes. Kofi Coburn ties his career high now with 33. And Dante Houston with the rebound for the Vaqueros, down by one. Ricky Nelson to the hoop, the putback by Merrick Nelson. He has a career high 19. Ricky Nelson again putting his head down. You could almost give him that assist because he attracted so much attention, allowed Merrick Nelson to get to the offensive glass. Goody puts Illinois back in front. Five points for the freshman. Who's going to be the leader for this team? Who's going to keep them together through some of adversity here? Coleman Hawkins for three. Illinois back up by a pair. 75-75. Mentioned Illinois' largest lead was 8-4. to four. Vaqueros largest lead was 24 to 12 in the first half. Alfonso Plummer. Dribble handoff, Xavier Johnson for Justin Johnson. Johnson turns the corner, challenges Coburn and scores it off the window. I've been impressed with his motor so far this season. And now you see he's guarding Justin, jo Justin Johnson. He's taking the challenge. Johnson hands it off and it's laid up and in by Raekwon Taylor. 79-79, 3.50 left. Plummer out to Hutcherson, looking for his first basket, and he's got it. Oh, Illinois led 39-37 at halftime. Taylor got Coburn in the air, drew the foul, scores it, and a chance for a three-point play. 15 on the shot clock. Johnson in the lane. Taylor swallowed up. Adewumi. Turning the corner on the drive, and Hawkins with a recovery block. And then Williams able to secure the loose ball. Goody steps into the long two. In and out. Put back by Tabate Williams. And Illinois is up by four. Vaqueros really set themselves up in the first half when they led by 12 as Hawkins laid it off to Coburn. 36 points for Kofi Coburn, and now Illinois has its largest lead. They're up by five, and tipped in by Raekwon Taylor to make it a three-point game again. They will not go away. Shot clock as they reset it to 20 with the kickball. UTRGV down by five. Ricky Nelson up fake, floats it up, no good. And the rebound by Goody. Short of the rim, taking his time for that floater, just couldn't get it to go down. and. Illinois did a good job of getting the ball into Alfonso Plummer. He was that first half leader, made five three-pointers. And he showed some different parts to his game this second half. You don't want to allow open threes. No matter the result here for the Vaqueros, this has to be a confidence boost for them moving forward as Merrick Nelson now is partially blocked by Goody. You might have two players in 30 with over 30 tonight here, Scott. Career high at Utah was 35. In that game, he made 11 three-pointers. 35, he has 30 tonight, six three-pointers, and eight of eight at the line. Justin Johnson misses the three. A nine-point win does not tell the story of this game. It was way closer than that here. UTRGV definitely going to hold her head high.